fourth day. <laughs> my shoulders gave day. out. <laughs> yeah. The third day when my knees gave out. Even with sore shoulders and worn out knees. Every day was great. To these canoers, it was worth it. Oh, I'm, a, I'm sort of a fanatic river person anyway. Yeah. About a dozen canoers from Southside Virginia and North Carolina made a 132-mile trek along the Dan River in honor of the bicentennial. And what better tribute? After all, the river is what built this city. That was your major source of transportation, was the river. Um, your flat land around the river made for better cropland. The Indians were farming these river bottoms for many centuries before the Europeans came. Clark recreated what a camp along the Dan would have looked like 200 years ago. He says these were good times. And believe it or not, the canoe team, even after 10 days, thinks so too. It sure would have been a great time to have lived. <laughs> would you like to do it every day of your life? <laughs> not every day. <laughs> nestled on its banks, brings a close to its bicentennial bash, leaving behind a number of fond memories, a few for this time capsule. For many folks, the bicentennial was the chance to step back and experience a bit of history, and some wish they could have stayed there. It sure would have been a great time to have lived. I love the 1800s, the Scarlet O'Hara look. I wished I lived back then. We are Americans. It seemed that everyone got involved, whether it was canoeing on the Dan River for 10 days, My shoulders gave day. out. playing out the city's history, or just growing a bicentennial beard. This bicentennial was more than just recreating the past. It also built pride in a community and promise for the future. It's what each of us brings to this community, what each of us carries away from this opportunity to celebrate the good things that have happened in the past and have the opportunity to look to the future. So as the city of Danville wraps up its celebration of 200 years along the Dan, it can look forward to celebrating 200 more. Reporting for Virginia's 13 in Danville, I'm Jill Osala.